Dobré odpoledne. Děkuji, že jste přišli. Ogni giorno. 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 With this, I hope that we learn what is happening today in our society in the Basque Country. And with that, I hope that you can always learn what is, understand better what is happening in your culture, in your country. Because we have many things in common, or if not, because we can learn a lot from the different. In this uh, polyglot gathering, we talk a lot about uh, language that comes with uh, culture, that comes with identity. We are trying to build identity. We will see how. Yeah? Identity which is sometimes something personal and sometimes it's something that you build in your community. So, in this small trip for today, we have three stops. The first one is the Aquelarre itself. I don't explain too much because wait, wait. I don't explain too much because you already checked what a calabre is before coming here. <laughs> the second one is one is going to be the guru koak. This is going to be the hat. And then we have a I don't know, I mean, I propose you a kind of ritual. I bring one song, which is to sing with the devil and the witches and all that, but this is up to you, I mean. I bring the tools and you have to do that, whatever you want, yeah? Also, after the ritual, I don't know what is gonna happen. So, if, so if you have questions or something to share, maybe short in between the first and the second, second and the third, yeah? Also about the sharing. I have to tell you my point of view for all this. Male, white, European, money enough to come for one week to Prague. So if you have something very different, please share it, yeah? Rest. So, if you want to learn something about the Basque culture and you take a book or you take a, you watch a film, a documentary, something like that, we have the need to see something, to show you something like this. We have the need to tell you that we were in there, in the Basque country, in the Basque land, like 5,000 years ago, minimum. Who knows? So I bring you today this picture. This is Amboto, it's a mountain very close to Bilbao, where our goddess Mari lives. Goddess, we don't have a god, sorry. We have a goddess. She was like, goddess, what? Yeah? We have a goddess, yeah? And she's living here. We have a very strong mythology, full of creatures flying around, hiding in the forest, all kind of things, yeah? This is going to be the base of everything we have now. But if we talk about witches, for many people, if you ask witches when was happening, that, that for many people is like the Middle Ages. Witches, hunting of the witches, all this is much modern than that. It's gonna be 16th, 17th century, yeah? 16, a lot. So, context in one minute. And related to the Basque culture also. 16th century is 
very few years before, Columbus arrived into America. This is not Basque, is it? No. Okay. And Elcano doing the first travel around the world. Many, many, many of the boats and many, many, many of the people going to the Americas and traveling around the world and discovering, discovering <laughs> lands and people were Basque. So for our story, our history, this is very important. Yeah? Also, 16th century, the last, I'm talking about the Basque culture, the Basque country, but a support for that as a country, it was Navarra Kingdom, much more Navarra than Basque country nowadays. Yeah? So in this 16th century, Navarra is gonna lose independence in the south to what later will be Spain, and in the north it's going to, it's going to be very weak, and then it, it will become part of France. Yeah? What else do we have? Martin, Martin, no, Martin. Well, in Europe we have Martin Luther and friends, not very friends with the Pope, so we have this kind of problems with the Catholic Church, all that, yeah? And nobody were respecting them, but we have also the Inquisition. Spanish Inquisition, very strong, but not the only one. So, going back to the Basque country, we have mainly two dates in here, 1508, this is around Durango, many different meetings, I'm gonna say, with the witches, and the biggest trial about, uh, against uh, which is in the 1610 in the I, I, I don't remember the name of the of the town. Can you read for me? <laughs> so in this 1508 we have the first documents talking about this meeting of the witches, talking about mainly women, not only but mainly women. Dancing, singing, having sex, drinking a lot. If you drink a lot, you know that you can finish by talking Latin or Hebrew. <laughs> so I guess, I guess it was kind of a 16th century polyglot coffee in there. <laughs> the biggest trial is going to be 1610 in Sugarramurdi. We have the meetings, we have the dancing and the singing, we have all that, we have the concept, but we didn't have a word for that. How do you call all these meetings? At the time it used to be Sabbath, and it's going to be Akelarre, but we didn't have the word yet, yeah? You remember Sugarramurdi? This is Sugarramurdi, now with a, with a concert, they have this huge, Okay, and everything is happening there. <laughs> so, very short. Shorginha, which that comes from shortu, which is create. So, these witches for us, they are creators. Yeah? And the point of today, Akelarre, these kind of meetings with the witches, with the devil in the middle of that, we call that Akelarre. If you ask anyone in the Basque country, they will tell you, Akelarre comes from Akerra, Aker, Akerra, and Larrea. Akerra is the male goat, Larrea is field. You see? Field or crane, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I'm not expert in Akelarres. I'm definitely not expert in linguistics, but they say if you have something like Aker with such a strong uh, sound, it's very difficult that this very strong sound is going to disappear when it goes together with something else. So Akelarrea become Akelarre is quite difficult. I'm not here to destroy Basque mythology, but I want to know what is happening here. We are talking about magic, but I'm going to try to keep it a little bit 
scientific also. And many people writing many papers, reading all the documents that we have now, I mean, the male goat, there is like very fancy picture, but we have something different. Alka is a plant. A field of this plant is going to be Alca la Rea, which is been, it's going to be much more easy, much easier to go from Alca la Rea to Aquelarre. Yeah? So the origin of this word that we use in Basque and also in Spanish, no? Yeah? Not Spanish in the room? Okay, it's the only place in this gathering with no Spanish people. <laughs> <laughs> so, I come to destroy Basque mythology. I don't want to do that, but I want to see what is happening. Yeah, in the Basque culture nowadays, I think we have one very big challenge in our society, which is maybe not only in, in our society, which is the role of women in there. Yeah? So, for me the point is not if witches are flying more or less, <laughs> if they can make something to transform me in a frog or not. The point for me is that we are building identity here. And when we talk about this, we say, remember we used to have powerful, powerful women, witches. Remember that we, have a, we used to have a goddess. Remember all that, and now you can go to the next fight. Thank you very much. This is the first part. Ooh. I don't know if questions. <laughs> Maybe short questions, so what can we do? Yes. Burukwak. Burua, head. So this is going to be the thing in the head, something like that. Okay, still 16th century. We have the, th the first people traveling up, trying to study different cultures, up, trying to study different cultures, different what's happening in the different countries. This is in Hachtenburg which is a book to see the clothing of different people around the Trachtenbuch. Yeah, I mean, my Dutch <laughs> In 1900. all Europe, in this time, 16th century, where uh, women had to be covered the hair, yeah? For, na for, for us now, it's like very typical for the Muslims, but at the time, in Europe, every woman had to wear something. And when this guy doing the Trachtenburg arrives to the Basque country, he said, what <laughs> is happening there? Yeah? So the point is, I'm telling you that you have to wear something in your head every day. We have two possible answers. Yeah? One is going to be something like this. Beautiful? <laughs> you should see your faces now. <laughs> Why? Okay, this was one of the solutions. Mainly this is for the single ladies, yeah? <laughs> if you ask the Spanish people mainly, I mean we have more relation there. If you ask the Spanish people of the image of the Basque women, this could be a very good option. <laughs> Which is prob probably not in your standard of beauty or fashion. And the answer to that, to that is, so what? Here and here. The other option is something like this, to have a very big head. Yeah? Depending on the shape, they, th they used to say that you can know if he's married, or he's a widow, 
Oh, well. Yeah? So, question for you. Married or widow, or what is happening with this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Beautiful. Sorry. Baina no la dago. Es conducta a la es married or single or waiting for something? <laughs> what? I'm asking a question here. Serious. <laughs> Okay, five minutes already, no? Ah. We have to sing. Unicorn! Unicorn! <laughs> waiting for something, okay. With, with this theory, this woman is waiting for something, so the one in the middle One. Oh my god, okay. So, nobody was were expecting them, but we have again the Spanish Inquisition saying, this is too sexual. I don't know why, I mean, but yeah, forbidden again. In here we can say, we can see not very well, but with another projector on closing the windows, could be. Um, this is the wedding in Begonia, which is a marriage for uh, noble people in there. And down there you could see the names and the family names with that you know if it's a good family or what, yeah? So in here, these women using these kind of things is the more money you have, the more power you have, the bigger the hat. So, it was not about sex. It's never about sex. It's about power. How do you control that? Yeah? Quite the same. <laughs> what is happening right now, actually, in our culture? This is a new thing that we have. We are again, building this identity. So, like many other countries, we have a kind of Olentero, uh, sorry, a kind of what? Um, Santa Claus, that we call Olentero, yeah? That guy. And 30 years ago, some people say, okay, a guy traveling along, uh, along at night, entering the houses, I mean, I don't know, yeah? <laughs> And now he is going with his wife, Marie Domingue, uh. wearing the same thing as before. Are you gonna have presents after seeing, after watching this presentation at home in Christmas? I don't think so. But <laughs> but the point is, we are building identity, and this is some people not so long ago, 30 years ago, something like that, saying, okay. We had to remember that we used to have powerful women, that we have, we have to, we... Oh. My English is good for 20 minutes, after that... <laughs> <we're>... <laughs> me uh, Remember that we have these powerful women, that we have these powerful witches, that we have a goddess, remember all that, and with that, you go to the next fight. Uh, now, because the woman has the biggest head, she is more powerful than the men. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the man was there, and he's like, okay, but... He's old, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any other question? We are going to start with... Only the... Santa Claus goes around alone. Yeah. In our culture, he is not alone. With uh, his wife or? No, uh, uh, granddaughter. More? Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Okay. Excuse me? Any more questions? Okay. Ines, Garcia. 
There we go. So, we put together all these kind of uh, stories about uh, Sorguña. Sorguña was uh, Aquelarre, some mysteries, some mythologies, or were playing some kind of popular uh, etymology. And we arrived to this song. Yeah? Let me see. What? I play the song one time so you can listen a little bit and then we analyze what is happening there. Yeah? You forgot the tug of war. What? You forgot the tug of war. I got I saw it. There are many things. I should be listening to something. I'm not. Help, help. <laughs> so that's the uh, PA there somewhere. And this is the magic of the technology also. <laughs> Okay, without the music, by now, by, by now, we, we will find how. <laughs> Just in case we have the lyrics in there also. So, this is going to be quite a tricky song. If you go to the Basque Country and you go to a party or carnival or whatever about the witches, you need to know this song, which is not about witches. But again, we are building something here. We have a song which is, which is something like in Basque, but it's not Basque, it's a kind of war playing there. And you don't understand so much what is happening, so it's perfect for an aquelarre, yeah? <laughs> Okay, you can come here. <laughs> 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 Okay, the main point of today was to sing with this music, so <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Uh, just to learn a little bit of Basque. One, two, three, four, five. But, ikusten da, you can see there, this. But, bi, iru, lau, bo, shei, saspi, sorti, beati, amar. With the first letters of that, you make the first letters of the song. This is the song on the left, yeah? So there's no real meaning for that. They are playing with the numbers, yeah? You didn't know. Huh. When you arrive to the number nine, is also Raven. When you arrive to the number 10, is also again. yeah? We have a couple of Something's happening here. Okay. What is this?
So you have the lyrics there. So you have the lyrics there. And we can try to listen a little bit. together the last word. Can you uh, can we say this together please? <laughs> okay, okay. I thought it was fun it was going to be much worse. <laughs> yeah? Okay. So Thank you very much for coming. My name is Iñaki. I hope you enjoyed this and you learn or we can share later what is happening in your places about this uh, thing. Now is your time to shine. You can dance, you can sing, you can hustle. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You have the lyrics, you have the video with Everyone dancing there. <laughs> Me, Esther, thank you very much. That was it. has to know this. What if you have a meeting and you're not ready for that? <laughs> That's it? This is uh, on the left is the are the lyrics of the song, uh -huh. but to build that they are playing with the numbers. Okay, so these are numbers, like baga, Those are numbers. In the middle the numbers. Yeah. On the left I take the numbers and I new. Make new uh, new words. Yeah, it's not Basque, but you hear that that is like this is my language, isn't it? But it's not. <laughs> and then the bottom part is Basque, like the second. Part. Yeah, but many different things. Like you don't get exactly what is happening. Like, okay. Oh, so it's kind of like random words. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> The movies are very bad movie. <laughs> it's like that. I mean, it's one of those Spanish, not Basque, Spanish movies taking everything that they find funny in the Basque culture and putting it together. But for the purpose of the... I think the film is going to be Sugarra Murdi. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of money. 
Eh oui, c'est comme ça, c'est la même chose. C'est taking all the topics and put it together. La bruja de la mort, oui. And is if you uh, you watch uh, mythology or any kind of tradition in the Basque culture, it's in that film, in this sequence there, everything together. Bueno. <laughs> Okay, uh, if it's okay, we can make the real ritual tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna need some blood. <laughs> you have questions? That's it. <laughs> If you have more personal questions, you can come to me and ask me. Just in case, and related to this, uh, on Sunday we have this talent show. I am trying to gather bus culture or language lovers to sing something, so here we are. Not this one, another song. <laughs> With a good sound system, also. What else? Well, I, have, I know a lot of S songs. <laughs> and in fact, one of my favorite best songs, uh, it comes from a group called Tensati. This is only to show you how easy Basque is. Mi <laughs> <laughs> Bueno, se corre la Orduan, mi esquer. Thank you very much. Last time I say this. <laughs> Thank you.